Hello, hello everyone and welcome back to our trip across Romania. In this third and final video of our little mini-series, we are leaving Transylvania and heading into the depths of the Carpathian Mountains into... Județul Prahova. We are going to be hiking around Parcul Natural Bucej and then heading on to Sinaia. Which was home to my personal highlight of our entire Romanian trip, which is the amazing Peles Castle. So we left our accommodation in Brasov and headed south, leaving the county of Brasov and coming into the county of Prahova. We were right in the middle of the peaks of the Carpathians here and so the scenery was absolutely stunning. It wasn't long before we parked up at the edge of Parcul Natural Bucec and began our hike to Cascada Urlătoare, which translates in English to the Screaming Waterfall. So let's begin. So here we are in Romania, more specifically we are currently at the foot of the Bucej mountains uh, and we are going to see a very epic waterfall uh, that I cannot wait for. So yeah, I think you can see from the views behind me some of the amazing things that we are going to see on this walk. Hopefully we don't see any bears because we have passed a lot of signs. But let's begin our hike and see what we see. So this walk we are doing right now to this waterfall is actually one of the easiest walks you can do around these uh, Bucej mountains. There are a lot more challenging walks you can get up to the top if you like, which unfortunately we don't have time to do because it takes around uh, 14 hours. <laughs> but we are just doing this as a short stop on our route. We have been in Brasov for the past couple of days exploring some of the amazing things that you can see there. That was the most gorgeous city that I think I have ever seen. Ellie would agree, I'm talking about Brasov. Hi, hi. I reached you. She, <laughs> she caught up. But this walk is supposed to take around an hour and a half there and back. So yeah, let's keep walking, eh? Let's keep walking, yay. Any insights? Anything to say? Uh, well, the insight is uh, we have lots of layers on and I'm um, really warm. Yeah. That's the insight. What about the bears? Uh, bears, yeah, we have to be, be, be aware of bears because uh, Romania has 60% of the European population of bears. Yes, all in the Carpathians. All in the Carpathians, yeah. Nowhere else, just here. And sometimes they go down into the villages. I think there's over 6,000 bears. Yep. Yeah. How's that sound? Uh, frequently, uh, the area frequented by bears. Uh -huh. That's good then. So the Bicej mountain range is one of the most beautiful in Romania. It's often known as. We just drove towards it and when it peered into view from behind the other mountain, we were just like, wow, that is insane. What's this? What's what? This. Some type of nut. A nut? A nut. Go grow. Grow the nut. Now it's nut. So we've been walking for around 45 minutes and I can hear a waterfall. So we are close, I believe. Um, hopefully it's the right one. There's a few waterfalls around that we've passed along the way. The whole way we've been kind of following this sort of stream that you can see here. So um, yeah, but this one sounds bigger than the rest. So let's see how it looks. So yeah, here it is. The waterfall. This is, uh, what's it called, Danny? Cascada uh, Unatuare. Yeah. And it's called the, translates to the screaming waterfall, and you can see why. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Only joking. <laughs> So you may be wondering why this waterfall isn't just left to flow down this valley and why it has been funneled through uh, these pipes that you can see here and that is so that they can harness the fresh water from here. We've been following a pipeline the entire walk so far and yes, this is where it comes from. This was made in 2009. And another really great fact about where we are standing right now, uh, our altitude is currently 1,092 meters, which means we are uh, pretty much at England's highest mountain, uh, the height of it, as we are. And we haven't even climbed a mountain yet, which just shows how massive this mountain range is. In fact, the largest mountain in the Carpathians is around two and a half thousand meters above sea level, which is uh, insane. So now I'm gonna try and walk up this rock and uh, try and get an even better view of the waterfall 
and surrounding area from up there. And so that sums up our first little walk of the video, but don't worry, we have so much more left. We are now gonna head to Sinaya. It's around a 30 minute drive. That's where we are staying tonight. So we're gonna check into that first and I'll show you a little bit around, see how it looks. So yeah, let's go. So after our hike, we drove further south, passing even more epic scenery until we reached the town of Sinaya. And here we checked into a fancy hotel. Here it is, right at the end of this uh, lovely, so here we are now, we have arrived in our lovely hotel, this is Hotel Sinaya. Uh, as we are in Sinaya, we have an incredible mountain view from the room. So in fact, I think Ellie has some interesting facts about this hotel, don't you? Oh yeah, well uh, this used to be a communist hotel and it's like, if you can see it from the outside, but it's recently been renovated and they just have this renovated quarters and it just looks really nice and fancy. It's now a four-star hotel and it has a spa and everything. Nice bed, comfy, full-size mirror, lots of... Very good mirror. Well, <laughs> it's good here. Oh yeah, I can see this. <laughs> <laughs> we walked through the town of Sinaya to the main attraction located here and that is... Castello Pelish. Welcome to Polish Castle. So as I said, this was my highlight of our entire trip. Even thinking back to our visit today, I'm still blown away by this castle. And it's not just me that thinks this, as it is often considered one of the most beautiful castles in all Europe. Just, I would agree with that. I would agree as well. <laughs> yeah, not that I've seen every, all of the rest, but this seemed like a special one. So it was constructed by King Carol I, who was Romania's first king. In 1873, King Carol began the construction of this castle and by 1883, 10 years later, it was finished. He apparently loved the scenery of the Carpathian Mountains, so he used this castle as a summer retreat. And I really can see why he loved the scenery. You know, this castle just fits so seamlessly in with its surroundings. And as I'm sure you can see from the exterior, just how detailed and elaborate the design is. And once you head inside, if anything, it just gets even better from here. I think one of the really interesting things about the interior of the castle that makes this so unique, it's that it's been built with a lot of wood, like all the carvings and, and all of the decorations inside are made out of wood. And you know, usually in castles like this, you have stone and gold and whatever, but. Yeah, it's true. It just proves that uh, it's not the material you use, it's the skill and the intricacy yeah. that goes into the making of it. The craftsmanship was absolutely incredible. So we only went to the ground floor that day as that was the only one that was open. So unfortunately we couldn't see the upper floors, but to be honest, the ground floor alone was enough for me. Just absolutely spectacular. Even looking back at these videos now, whilst re-watching them, I'm still seeing things and little details that I didn't even notice when exploring this castle. Ah, uh, the armor room. Uh -huh. Another fun fact is that this castle was the first ever European palace to be powered by electricity. And not just that, it had central heating and everything, so it was quite fancy. We don't even have central heating now. <laughs> <laughs> it's about 800 uh, painted glasses in the whole castle, the biggest collection wow. in Romania. So as we continued to walk through the castle, we passed so many more rooms. Even just exploring the ground floor took us so long due to the amount to see. Uh, we eventually got to this room with this incredibly impressive ceiling. My favourite is the ceilings. It's fabulous. That's, I think this is actually called one of the Maybe. This room was also home to this, which is a Venetian mirror, of which there are a few of them spread across this castle. Caesar there. He's making a salad, waiting for his salad. Where is my salad? Terrible joke. It's a good joke. 
And that ended our exploration of the castle. We went back out into the gardens for another look at the incredible scenery and that sums up our trip to Pelesh Castle. And so with that, our Romania trip is over. We were exploring across Romania for 12 days and we've been all over. Well, not all over because so many things to do in this massive country of Romania. We tried to pick a, a few different areas, so not everything is from the same place. Yeah, but saying that, we are going to be heading back to Romania soon, so there will be more videos coming up from this amazing country. But if you haven't watched the rest of our short Romania series so far, and you want to see more, you can click on the link to the playlist here or down in the description. So I really hope you enjoyed this series. I already can't wait to go back to Romania again and see even more. And obviously, I know I can't wait to go back as well. Yeah, exciting. Woohoo! So yes, please subscribe if you enjoyed. Thank you for watching and goodbye. goodbye.